Hey everyone, I'm back with another short video um, and tonight I'm talking about some of the favourite supplies that I've been using particularly this month um, that I've really been enjoying that I thought you might like to have a look at. So the planner that I'm currently using is my Kate Spade Wellesley. If you've seen any of my other videos, you will have seen a flip through of this planner. Um, I love it. I love that it's zipped. I love that it's personal. And it's just the perfect size for me. I also use it as my purse, so everything that I need is inside uh, this planner. It's not the cheapest of planners, they are a bit more pricey than the usual ones, but for me, um, I'm getting more than my money's worth out of using this planner. Um, so inside, um, I spoke a little bit in my blog about um, my favourite supplies, and the first thing that I'd really mentioned, other than the planner itself, was the inserts that I'm using so I'll show you some blank ones so you can see so these inserts are from Just So Stationery and I have ordered the week on one page with the um like it's a mishmash of to-do menus it's basically everything <coughs> excuse me it's everything that you need to get you through the week so this is the setup that I am currently using the thing I love about the Just So Stationery inserts is the paper quality. It is so smooth, so thick, um, it, with a um, Safari, Lamy Safari fountain pen. <coughs> Excuse me. With the Lamy fountain pens that I use, you, you, there's no hardly any bleed through. There's like just a tiny bit. Um, here which has actually come from um, the purple ink but the blue ink like there's hardly anything which for fountain pens is awesome um so I, I just love the um the paper quality what i need to get around to doing is ordering my 2017 inserts so that i've got them because kirsty who runs just so stationary is um pregnant she's going off with a baby and if i don't get my act together and get my inserts ordered she'll go off on mat leave and yeah that like, just can't happen that I'm, I'm without my inserts so that's the um the, the diary sections and then i also um bullet journal as you know um and the, this is just some dot grid paper that i actually cut down from some inserts that I got from um, Traveller's Times and again um, Keely at Traveller's Times uses really thick paper um, so even with like, a fountain pen like I use um, there's like I can show you, there's hardly any um, ghosting or bleed through at all it's just awesome so yeah that's the, the paper that I'm using and I just I'm blown away by it it's fantastic um, the other thing that I was just going to talk about was um, the pens. Now I have done a what's in my pencil case video before, um, not in this pencil case, I think I did the video in my Kipling 100 pens and I switch out, you know, um, but the, the, the pens that are my go-to pens, um, like my Stadler pens, I've also got these ones, they're called uh, Scribblicious and they are the works version um, and they're, they're they're just probably not as good as the Stadler but these are just they, they write a little bit thicker um but these were super cheap and um the, the colors are also you'll see that I have a particular palette of colors that my eyes are naturally drawn to so I'm like pinks purples teals anything like that I love um so yeah Stadler pens for me awesome but happy to try something new and in terms of pens um, now my purple one is is missing so a child must have picked that up but I'm sure you've seen um, my purple pen before in fact I'll go and grab it okay right so the pens have all been found so start again uh, so these are the Lamy pens that I have got that is a Lamy Joy a one and a half nib Mammy Joy Blue Ink. Uh, I think this is a Safari. This is Turquoise Ink. I 
think this is an all star. With purple ink. This is a safari, I think. And this one is also a safari with pink ink. Now, the pink ink um, was not a Lamy ink. Um, so what I did was I bought some ink, which uh, is this one, uh, Diamine Ink, and it's in, uh, the colour's called Hope Pink. Um, yeah, Hope Pink. And then what I did, I just bought um, a converter. So you just put the ink into the converter and then you can use um, other brands of ink and I haven't had any problems doing that um, at first I wasn't sure whether um, you were it, it was okay to do that but I've had no problems and then for me it just means that um, I've got OCD so you know it bugs me that, that there's not black ink in that um, at least with that one that's got purple that's got pink that's got turquoise and it's got some turquoise washi on. I know I've got problems, haven't I? Um, so those are my pens of choice. Um, I have got some Tombow uh, dual brush pens um, for if I want to add a splash of colour. Um, the thing that I'm really enjoying using is I've got some of these um, friction pens. Uh, there we go. And these are really nice um, for adding like a little splash of colour. Um, and I think that's it from, from pens. Um, I do keep a rose gold pen in my Kate Spade for no other reason than it's rose gold and it matches. I think it writes in blue. No, black. Um, so I very rarely use it, but I just like it because it matches. So that's it from a um, pen perspective. I have got into stickers quite recently as well, and I've done plenty of sticker hauls, um, so I won't bug you by showing you more stickers. But the other things that um, are quite useful that I will show you, some tools of the trade that are quite basic. But I find them invaluable. Number one, steel ruler. Really useful for me because I bullet journal, because I need to have nice, well I don't need to have, because I like to have nice neat lines. Um, the steel ruler comes in invaluable. And I do also have folding rulers um, inside the pencil case for if I'm on the go. Um, what else have I got here? single hole punch absolutely invaluable if I am decorating if I've washed it over my um, rings then I can just cut through and we're done this is Amazon uh, three pounds there or thereabouts um, and then also um, a corner rounder so you've got your sharp edge now I have got a beautiful curved edge. So again, love that. Um, for me, because I bullet journal, I like to be able to get in and out of my rings quickly. So what I do is I actually, um, once I have washed or whatever I'm doing over the rings, I actually just cut them so that that's really easy to get in my planner. Um, saves me putting opening the rings a hundred times a day, which is what I'm doing. I'm constantly in and out of my planner. So that really for me is probably the um the top tools that I use all the time. Nice pens, some um basic tools but for me um perhaps the only other thing that I've not touched on are stencils. Um so I I do keep a couple of stencils in the planner 
because here you can just see I've just got some um, stencils with bullet journal style things on because it just makes it easier if I've got these things to hand I can make my pages look a bit more interesting um, so yeah they just stay in and they're only you know they're only personal size so it's no hardship to just uh, keep them in the back of my planner uh, another one there um, yeah that was just um, some banners but for me those kind of things make a real difference um, so it's just a short and sweet one I hope this is of use um, and I will be back soon um, with a planner stash um, video showing you the plans that I've got and what I use them for. hope this is interesting and I will see you all soon. Bye!